Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to the live stream of Oblivion. Here we are in the Dark Brotherhood. Yesterday, we just finished the final contract for our boy, our vampire bro here, and today we're starting the new contract missions for Ochiva, who um, actually has, it gives you the best contract in the entire game, where you get invited to a party and you have to kill everyone secretly and then you get a reward if you do so. It's like literally my favorite quest in the entire game. So where is he? Where's he gone? Let's let's go and talk to him one final time. Well now, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Instead, you must report to Ochiva here in the sanctuary. She will be providing all your contracts from now on and is waiting for you as we speak. Ooh. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well, and I choose now to extend that gift to you. Shall I use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire? Shall we do it? Not right now, thank you. Being a vampire in Oblivion is like the most annoying thing ever. I remember accidentally getting turned into a vampire when I first played this game and literally it just broke the game for me. I could only adventure out at nighttime, otherwise you'd slowly lose health and you can't fast travel at daytime. And it literally, oh my god, it was the most annoying thing ever. So my god, I do not want to make that terrible gameplay decision this time. Yes, I can understand your trepidation. For it is not every day one is invited to join the ranks of the undead, eh? If you ever change your mind, fear not. My offer will always be open. Simply return and speak to me about the dark gift and we can proceed. Mm. Tell me more about the dark gift. Alright, I think I might turn the volume up quickly. Um, which I have to. Look at me, I'm, I'm paler than he is. My god. Just quickly save the game. Uh, I've got to quit the game so I can actually turn the volume up because I've got it windowed. Give me a second. Give me a moment. Because then we can hear the dialogue properly, which is super important for the Bolivian. But you know what, guys? We get to listen to the intro music quickly. Hell yeah. So the quest lineup today, guys, is an awesome one. I'm super excited. Vampirism is way better in Skyrim, especially after the Out of the Dawn Guard. DLC. I feel like they massively worked on it and made it super cool, especially like with the werewolves as well. So, big fan. I wonder if they'll add anything new for, you know, I feel like you can't take that away now you've put it in the game. So, with the Elder Scrolls 6, I'm excited to see what they do there. I wouldn't fully expect werewolves to be there, but vamp vampires would definitely be there. All right, let's uh, continue. Yes. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. As I mentioned, I... Okay, let's go and speak to some blood for Shaver, me, brother. or whatever her name is. The Argonian. That's not to you. Where is she? She's around here somewhere. Here she is. Ah, oh, come back. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working with him has come to an end. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact... Your next contract is available now. Ooh, my next contract. What will it be? This one's actually quite interesting, especially considering I'm addicted to skooma. In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove challenging. Are you interested? No, I'm not. Maybe later. No, actually I am. React to the Hightail trailer. Oh my god, I... I've heard about that game. It's like the new Minecraft, isn't it? Like, I'm actually, like, very interested. So, have they got a new trailer out? I would do a reaction to that, yeah. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Phalian. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. Hmm. Unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know right. which district he calls home which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. Right. This contract will require a bit of detective work. 
I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can offer any advice. Well... Ah, yes, there is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? No, say nothing. <laughs> Heed my words. Philida has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood. He will not tolerate our operations within the Imperial City. When that happens, he tends to make our lives uncomfortable. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? Hmm? If possible, do away with failing in some place out of the way, definitely indoors with no other people around, a secure location with no witnesses. This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go, and may Sithis go with you. We must be secretive about the murder. I'm very good at that, because I am a Khajiit. Thank you so much, Brandon, for the donation. You game vicariously through, through me. Oh, well, I'm glad my videos give you that. Okay, so we need to head over to the Imperial City. You like a dark gift from the night mother herself. He keeps telling me that I'm a dark... Oh, no, wait. We can exit through the well now, guys. I forgot about this. Where are you off to, mate? I know what you're thinking. Gorgoron, he's too big to be sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're right. Me, I like to just go in and hack my targets to pieces. Hell ah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me any tips on my contract. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You kill him up close, face to face, and you still get the bonus. <laughs> I wish all the contracts were like that. Well, 10 out of 10 advice. Happy hunting, my brother. I wonder if anyone else has advice for us. Let's speak to him. A pleasure to speak with you. The elves of the Imperial City are a fairly close-knit community. One of them will have at least heard of Phalion. You should ask around. Indeed. I will. I will indeed. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. I will spill lots of blood. Good day. Good day. I do so love pursuing a contract in the Imperial City. The alleys, the shadows, the challenge of evading Philida's legion troops. <laughs> I envy you. Now and again, they give you good advice, but most of the time it's like, meh. Anyway, now we can exit through the well. A privilege we had to earn by killing several people. It's a lot of work for a goddamn key to a well, isn't it? So secretive. Apparently the uh, the mayor of Chadenhall is actually uh, aware of the Dark Brotherhood's presence in his city. But uh, bribes and threats keep him quiet. I guess the Dark Brotherhood. I'm only asking for a single coin. A coin for an old beggar. Speak. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. Uh, okay, so... We need to find some High Elves. Apparently they're a tightly, tightly knit community because they're all actually... Secretly, Thalmer in disguise, plotting against the Empire. Who, um... Oh, I swear one of these... Rindir, is he not a High Elf? I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, God, I don't want to... I don't want to lockpick his house. No. What time is it right now? 7am, Jesus. The amount of times I spent in this game waiting for the shops to open. There we go. Now he's open. I think the bookshop also has a high elf. This guy's a high elf, yeah. You're in Rindir's staffs. And I'm Rindir. I sell magical staffs. Imagine that. Imagine that. Magical staffs. Tell me about Phalion. Phalion, you say? Why, yes, I know who he is. Rather distasteful fellow, actually. I believe he lives at the Tiber Septum Hotel. Mm. That's in the Talos Plaza district, here in the Imperial City. I'd ask around there if I were you. Sounds like a tourist guy, doesn't he? 
May what are you I actually selling? In some of my fine wares. Lesser staff of burden. That's so funny. If you go, you can make your own spells. We'll do that eventually when we get to the major skill. We'll make our own spell. And it's just, just make like a spell that does like a burden radius effect. And then just go around casting on people, even the guards. And they just stand there like, I can't arrest you. But I really want to, but I can't move for 20 seconds. It's like even better than paralysis. Paralysis. The Staff of Ruin. Red Silk. Oh, White Rager's mo robes. I remember never knowing how to get these. And uh, I saw some guy in the Mages Guild wearing you them. Too. And I was like, I need these in my life. Hey, man. Carry on the amazing work. Love the videos. Thank you so much. Deji Fart. <laughs> what a great name. Is that Deji the YouTuber? Let's just fast travel to the Imperial Plaza District because ain't nobody got time to walk there, mate. Why is it raining suddenly? The weather's rapidly changed somehow. Oh, the Shrine of Akatosh. Oh, yeah. Tiber Septim loves him. The whole the whole Septim bloodline loves him. Wait, is this the hotel? Is it just here? Yes, it is. The Tiber Septim Hotel opposite the Dragon Fetish. Let's go inside. Thank you for the donation, I'm Smoke Doubt. You guys have such creative names. Do you think it's possible to port the Elder Scrolls games to mobile devices? 100%, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can literally get, like, um, console emulators on your phone now. So, like, I was playing, like, uh, the old Pokemon games on my phone with the Game Boy Advance emulator. What? Oh, well, she's a bit rude. You can't just, like, greet... I, I could have been coming here for a room. You can't just greet people like that. What? Special edition. Night to Mother Rituals on the rise. How do people even know about that? And they won't be tolerated, warns Imperial Legion. By Agnes. The quill is mightier than the ebony sword. Okay. Seems a bit weird. The Imperial City. Pinnacle of art. Entertainment, scholarship, and ritualistic murder. So says Adam Philida. Commander of the Imperial Legion forces in the Imperial City, and staunch opponent of the mysterious Assassins uh, Assassins Guild, known as the Dark Brotherhood. According to Philida, the Imperial Legion soldiers have discovered 13 separate instances of Macabre Black Sacrament, a sinister ritual purportedly used to summon a member of the Dark Brotherhood in order to arrange an assassination. There's been 13. Jesus Christ. Whether or not a card-carrying killer shows up on the ritual performer's doorstep remains to be seen. But the Black Sacrament itself is very real and truly the stuff of nightmares. As documented in the rare and taboo, taboo work, A Kiss Sweet Mother. The Black Sacrament involves an effigy of the intended victim, created from an actual body. Actual body parts, including a heart, skull, bones, and flesh within a circle of candles. Sounds quite romantic in a very twisted, creepy way. A good bone in between some candles. To proceed with the ritual, one must stab the effigy repeatedly with a dagger rubbed within the petals of a nightshade plant, which is a poisonous plant if you didn't know. And then usher, and then plea, whispering, Sweet mother, sweet mother. Send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. As gruesome as this ritual may be, even more frightening it is intention is its intention. The summoning of a mysterious assassin, who some witnesses claim is always clad in a black hooded robe, the robes of a listener, as it were. Who will be then receive who will then receive money to kill an innocent victim? No remorse, no regrets. It is, as the merchants say, simply business. And that's what worries Adam. Adamus. Sorry I'm dyslexic. Sorry if I'm butchering any of these words, guys, but this is interesting law here. The brazen increase in the Night Mother's rituals is an affront to the decent, peace loving citizens of the Empire. And the Imperial Legion exists for one reason and one reason only. To protect and serve the people of Tamriel. How, in Azora's name, 
Can we do that when people take it upon themselves con to contract paid assassins and have innocent people murdered? How can I sleep at night knowing my legion can't possibly save the lives of somebody marked for death by the Dark Brotherhood? Anybody who carries out the Black Sacrament makes a mockery of the Imperial Legion. And as a commander, that's something I just can't tolerate. From this point forward, any citizen found in the possession of items related to the Night Mother ritual will be INCARCERATED! If you have candles in your house, you will be INCARCERATED. In the Imperial Prison indefinitely. And their property seized by the Empire. We will come to your house and we will seize your candles. I just woke up my cat, I'm so sorry Khajiit. Um, where was I? We're gonna seize your candles. There's no fine high enough, no standard prison sentence long enough for the type of malcontent who would show such a blatant disgrace of our dear Empire's laws. This guy has such a fetish hard-on for the Empire and the welfare of the fine people of Tamriel. To be sure, Adamus is not one to issue empty threats. Indeed, the Black Horse Courier has learned that one Claudius Arcada, until recently a resident of the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City, is now residing in a cold, dank, a dank cell. Not a damp cell, a dank cell. How- it literally says the word dank. Quite the dank cell. Is he like a rapper or something? A, fam a famous rapper that hails from the Talos Plaza district. Well, now he's in the Imperial Prison. I wonder if we can actually visit him. I, I don't... I I'm genuinely interested. We'll do that later on. We'll see if we can find this man. And his house has become the newest Imperial Legion outpost. Oh, re? So that's... I always wondered that. I never knew that. Okay, so before you take the law into your own hands, dear reader, fucking take your house as well and we'll, we'll turn it into a barracks, mate. Well, um, you'll go further in life with a warm smile than a cold blade. And if you do get the grudge that won't be so soothed, a sore, a sore that can't be settled, you can always move to Morrowind and have the government sanctioned Morag Tong to do the killing for you. Yeah, it's actually, the Morag Tong is like a legal assassination, um club unlike the dark brotherhood she's still so distastefully staring at me okay let's you oh treacherous little filcher how dare you steal from me what i didn't do it what do you mean i'm sorry i didn't intend to do that did i steal something welcome friend to the tiber septum hotel personality switch. i am augusta alidia your hostess tell me about phalian yes i know who phalian is Know quite a bit about him, actually, but probably shouldn't gossip. I mean, we hardly know each other. Oh well, ah, uh, uh, I could get get her to know me, or Thank I could you. demonstrate the black sacrament to you. That that could be a lot funner. That could be a lot funner indeed. Wait, no! Stop right there, criminal scum! How did you know? Nobody breaks the law on how, my watch. How did you know? Confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Fine, I'll pay pay your one gold. You've literally wasted my time. That's too bad. Okay. God damn! Now you've wasted my time with a with two loading screens. To fast travel back here again. Stupid Imperials. Stupid, stupid Imperials. I was going to demonstrate. Look, there he is. You have my ear scissors. And he's like just leaving from where he arrested me. Okay, okay, here we go. Just gonna walk past casually like I'm just going to my room. And then, boom. I'm gonna turn around and perform the Black Sacraments. Are you ready, guys? I'm gonna perform the Black Sacrament right here. The lusty Argonian maid, god damn. Why? You find this on the most strange places. Like, why does she have this? Ah, oh, damn it. I don't have any candles, though. There are no candles here. Ah, oh, oh well. So, Phalian is in this hotel from uh, what, we've, what we've learned so far. So, we don't even need to talk to her. Hello. Ah, hello there. Oh, Phalian. 
dear Fairy, why must you ruin both our lives? Okay, so I think this person knows Phalian. <laughs> yes, good sir. How may I help you? My observation skills tell me so. Phalian? He... He's my sweet. My true love. But I don't know why I'm telling this to you. I mean, we hardly know each other and all. Hmm. What? What? <laughs> okay, okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to admire you. Okay, let's start. I'm going to joke. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Uh, why do you sound... Why is she so angry suddenly? Oh, my God. What a fool you are. Oh, my God. I doubt it. No. So you she likes to be admired and joked. Okay, so now we know that information. Good one. What a wonderful talk. I we doubt. Can slowly build. Really now. Not bad. I doubt. Talk tough to me. Talk tough I to you. I love tough guys. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. She's a kinky one. <laughs> My goodness me. Sure. That's cute. Really now. That's cute. I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, right. So I'm going to go here. That's cute. You think I'm afraid of you? I doubt. Oh, whoops, that was accidental. I fucked up. Please, I'm embarrassed. But sure, that I doubt it. Oh boy, don't you just love no, this you do me speech Not bad. system. I doubt it. Blow away, Win. No. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get I it. I doubt it. Talk tough to me. I love tough guys. I doubt it. Please. Not bad. Oh god, don't I'm just make gonna blow you. Now we're that best friends. You Thank you. That's not bad. Please, I... I don't mean to get emotional, but... I feel I can trust you. I just don't know what to do about Phalian. All he thinks about, all he cares about is Skooma. He Hell was yeah. a fine young man once. But he's lost everything. His looks, his money, his self-respect. I followed him a few times to see where he goes. He walks around the city looking for Skooma. And then he goes to Lorkmere's house for several hours. It's in the Elfin Gardens district. I think the house is deserted. That's why he goes there. So he can escape from life and do his Skooma. Thank you for listening. You're a good friend. I just hope my sweet Phalian can clean himself up, or that awful skooma will be the death of him. Ha 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 ha. The lonely wanderer. Now we can find mm. Phalian. Oh yes. Goodbye. Oh yes. My name is actually Skooma, guys. As you can see, I'm a Khajiit who has consumed so much skooma that I have become pale. I lost my colour. My fur is falling out. Oh, Jesus. I was like, how did this happen? But I forgot that I just killed her. Re. Alright, so now we need to go to the Elven Garden District. One does not simply walk there. And you can fast travel. I've been playing a game called Outward a lot recently. You can check it out if you go on the channel home. Oh, what? why is he running? Why? 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 Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. How? Wait, how did you know I killed her? Nobody saw that. That's too bad. I'll pay you oh. 1,000 gold. It was worth it. I'd do it again. What is it, citizen? Right. We've only been arrested twice in the space of a few seconds. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's find. This is the house, I believe. Lockmere's house. What time does he come out of here then? Let's have a look at the quest log. Phalian is alone every day for several hours at Lockmere's house in the Elven Garden districts of the Imperial City. I could kill him there to avoid any witnesses. Before we do that, I kind of want to talk to him. What time does he leave this house? NPCs are OP. They know. Somehow they always know. The guards know everything. Exactly. There's no safe place. No hiding from them. 
Thalian never leaves this man's house. There are times when he should be walking around the the, uh, the Imperial City, but he's just he doesn't he doesn't leave. It'd be nice to get a key to the house. I don't think he ever leaves it. He should though. Maybe it's because the quest updated, so it doesn't leave anymore. I only have 14 lock picks left, and I have to pick a very hard lock. That means we should save the game. Oh, great. It's Lex who, uh... You have my ear, citizen. Oh, no, that's not Lex. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, wow, it actually worked. My God. We got saved. Massively saved there. Okay. Here we go. We've infiltrated the house. Let's sneak upstairs. An average chest, but it could have skooma in. Oh. Okay, that worked. What? Just calipers? Sheo Gorath, how dare you? Lock me as private quarters. Wow, this place looks charming. Absolutely charming. Is he even here? I, don't, I think he's downstairs in the basement, actually. Some bone meal. Was he sniffing that, do you reckon? The Eastern Province. Some bread. Where's all the skooma? God damn. I didn't come here for fun. Let's go downstairs then. Maybe I just have to wait in the house for him until he appears. Oh god! Oh boy, he, he actually killed him. Maybe this is where the skooma is hidden. I only have five lockpicks. Oh my god, it worked. What? There's no skooma here! I'm outraged. I'm absolutely fucking seething now. What? Why would I even do this quest if I can't get any skooma? Oh, wait! Here it is. Here it is. God damn. It's mine now. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh yes. Oh yes. Drain agility, damage intelligence, fortify strength, fortify speed. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, we gotta wait here for him to show up now. I think he goes there for several hours at night, so if I just There he is! Hey, whoa! You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm so sorry. Hey! Hey! How what are uh, what are you? doing here you're not my not my friend what you know what, what what do you want it's time to sleep i want your soul Shh, hush now it's time to sleep <laughs> i wish i could give him the skooma and like just own him sleep uh, but nah no i i i'm not tired not tired right now I have lots of, you know, energy. The skooma, I can feel it in my veins. He doesn't want to sleep, guys. Hey! hey. Say nothing. You? You're kind of weird. You know that? But that's okay. I, I like crazy people. I like crazy people. And skooma! <laughs> Shh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Oh, one sec. Skooma. Skooma! Oh, oh yeah! You want you want to be my friend? I'll I'll tell you what. Skooma's the only thing, the only thing I want. You get me some. Now listen up, Sk Skooma. <laughs> you know what that is? Get me some Skooma, and we'll be good, good friends. Okay. It reminds you of like. Do you ha have any skooma now? Cause I can be your friend right right now. But damn. Yes, I have some skooma. <laughs> I'll say no first. Oh, okay. Well, you get me some skooma, and so then disappointed. We'll, we'll be good friends. Okay, okay. Nordenor in Bravil. He sells it late at night. Oh, really? <laughs> when was the last time you actually survived the trip to Bravil, Falian? Phelan? Hey, that's my name. Yeah, I'm Phelan. 
Okay, let's give him some. Yes. You have skooma? <laughs> oh, my friend. Yeah. Mm. You're my friend now. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, now that we're we're friends, you want to come with me to my my special place? It's not, you know, very far. If you want, come to to Logmere's house. I go there every day. You're here. Every day, from 11 in the morning till 5 at night. I just go and relax. Logmere ain't, he ain't around no more. <laughs> I use his house. Here's a key for, for you. You come whenever you, you want. Okay, then. Okay, then. Oh, yeah. His house is in the um, Elvin Gardens district. So, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll see you there, uh, my new friend. <laughs> he is Goodbye, nutty. My friend. My friend. It's like it's like lower school when um, I've given some more skooma. Oh, we got the key to the house. It's like lower school when like people would be like, "Oh, if you give me this or do this, I'll be your best friend." And you're like, "Oh, okay." Skooma. Hey. I want your soul. My, my soul. Whoa! Wow! Yeah! Okay, yeah! That sounds great! <laughs> you can have my soul. Can I, uh, can I have your soul too? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh! oh, I missed. Come back here. No, no, come back. <laughs> ah, get wrecked. Valian is dead. I killed him in Lochmere's house, a secure location with no witnesses. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak about my reward. I like how he's doing this little leg action here. A brass ring. Oh yes, they got my skooma back. I was slightly worried about that, actually. They say syndicates of wizards have let it's a boycott you. of imperial Hi. goods. Hi. Very well, thank you. The Aldmer have powerful wizards. It Very well observed, my friend. Let's fast travel back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. You should play Outwards more. Really enjoyed your walkthroughs of other games. Yeah, I really do enjoy Outwards, so I'll be playing it more. If you guys haven't checked it out, Outwards like a, a new RPG that's just come out. It's uh, It looks very dated, so if you can like play Oblivion and enjoy it, you'll definitely enjoy it outward it's like a, a graphically not very good game but mechanically it's very interesting and fun to play i'm quite addicted to it to be honest so i've been making a lot of guide videos on that recently uh hello uh should i come back later i am honored by your presence the high elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father sithis and there were no witnesses to your handiwork because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved and will not meddle in our affairs. Hell yeah. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. Go now and rest, and may the Night Mother guard your dreams. Surely you wouldn't want the Night Mother guarding your dreams. I have another contract when you're ready. One that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. Hmm. Okay, tell me more. Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Hell yes. Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Such. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. Hmm. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide. But you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. Okay, I can do that. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. 
that will, of course, forfeit your bonus. Thank you so much, Taser. Gonna go out and celebrate uh, with some friends tonight, actually. Okay, so this quest is actually pretty cool. You have to be very sneaky, though, otherwise you lose your bonus. But the bonus we just got for this quest and killing uh, our bro sneakily, the high elf, uh, is this bow, Shadow Hunt. It's a leveled weapon. Turn undead, level 7 on strike. Damage health, 7 points on strike. Damage magicka, 7 points. Weakness to poison, 7% on strike. It's much better than our rusty bow. We should probably drop this, actually. Okay, let's head outside of the well and then travel to Fort... Fort Such. Well, I'm glad you woke up, Jack, so you could join us. Okay, where is Fort Such? Who, who the hell knows? Let's have a look. It's in that direction. This direction, apparently. I'm sure it was over here. Where is this location? Oh, there it is. Fort Such. Let's just fast travel there. Or shall we fast travel to Lord Drad's estate and then go north? Outward doesn't really have many time quests. Like, you... To be honest, like, you can kind of just leave it and let it go most of the time. There are some that are timed, but, you know, if something's under threat, for example, then, yeah, you'd do well to, to rush there. But uh, otherwise, you've kind of got all the time in the world. Where is the Serico gameplay? I don't know. I've not really been in the mood for, like, the Dark Souls kind of gameplay recently, so I've not been playing it. I've been quite, quite addicted to Outward. So this, I believe, is Fort Such. Such a lovely place. Uh, oh. uh, okay. Well, I guess we go in here. Got to be sneaky. Shh. Let's do this. We cannot be detected. Oh! Oh boy! Oh, it's just like we've entered for such. I've been detected. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Thank God for auto save. <laughs> okay, there's. Yes. Uh, great. An average lock. Eh? There's a guy down there. I should have brought some lock picks. Look at this guy. You mean to leave? The snake scan has increased. Sneaky, sneaky. No! I'm allowed to do that, aren't I? I don't think. I'm just not allowed to be detected, so as long as I'm not detected, they're good. Oh, yeah, boy! Can we get some loot boxes for the Elder Scrolls 6? Hell yes. Hello down there. Don't mind me, I'm just here to assassinate your boss. Hmm. I just don't know. Is the medicine sustaining Roderick's life or just postponing his death? How can he survive for so long with a fever so high? Roderick's fever is in check, unlike your tongue. How can you think such things after all he's done for us? For you. Have a little faith. He's too damn high, though. Faith? Are you telling me we're supposed to rely on the good graces of the divine? So there he is up there. You can see his bed. Even he would laugh at such nonsense. Probably sneak down here, to be honest. Shh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. I don't think this is the right way. Or is it? I believe it's like left up here, isn't it? Yes, yes, this is it. Down the right way. 
Nobody's here. There he is, sleeping in bed. Oh yes, give me those potions. What's in here then? His medicine cabinet's right next to his... Aha, Roderick's me medicine. So I need to replace... Where is his medicine? Poison of illness? Is that what I should put in there? Didn't they give me one to swap out? Put some scuba in there, give him a good time. Oh, whoops. Potion of illness. Yeah, that's what I need to do, I think. I've successfully entered the fort. I must now replace it with a bottle of poison medicine. Potion of illness? Is that not it? I don't think it is. Hmm. Poisoned me potion of healing? I don't have any poison medicine. Am I blind? Am I doing that YouTuber thing? Or is it in here? Hmm. Poison. Oh, it's in Roderick's poison. Yeah, great. Okay, thanks, game. There we go. The bottle of poison medicine has been placed in the cabinet and the real medicine removed. The next time Roderick is given treatment, he will die. I must now go and return to the sanctuary and speak with Oshiva to re get my reward. Oh, okay. Easiest way out is the way we came. But just for fun, let's go and say hello to Roderick. Save the game quickly. Roderick! Hello! Roderick! Oh, oh I'll take that. Roderick! How's it going, my friend? It's good to see you. Very good to see you. Roderick's skin is pale and covered in a sheen of sweat. It's obvious he's struggling for his life against whatever illness claimed him. Grabby, grabby, grab. Pokey, pokey, poke. I mean, he looks... Like... Yeah, is that... Wait. I thought he was sleeping with his eyes open for a second. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to get spotted here. There's too much light. Those two guards are going to come down here, and then we can just hop off the balcony. And 10 out of 10, sneaky Khajiit confirmed. There we go. Adam, thank you for the donation. Just watch the live stream here, so you legend, thanks. Oh, you mean the, the one we did yesterday, yeah? Now you're catching this one live. Awesome, bro. I want to try and, like, do roughly daily live streams, uh... I would be doing it in the afternoon tonight, but me and my girlfriend are going out with two close friends of ours to celebrate our engagement. So, you know, sorry if anyone's, you know, who was watching yesterday from America, because that's like the optimal time for me to stream in the evening, because I'm just, you know, going out tonight. And uh, it's nice to have at least some time off in the weekend. Honestly, though, like this job is, is absolutely awesome. We've been successful. We've, we've assassinated him. Let's, let's go back to the... Uh, Brotherhood Sanctuary again and get the next quest, guys. Let's do it. Yeah, this job is amazing, though. Like, being able to play video games means that, obviously, I say I don't really take a day off because I, I just enjoy working. So, and I kind of, I love this job. And one of the reasons, like, I stopped doing, uh, being an architect and chose this job over architecture is because I get to, you know, all the effort I put in, I get instant feedback from you guys and... You know those videos get nice comments on them and it's just is a very rewarding job um, and the more effort you put in the more you get out of it so like you know it's, i love that kind of thing that makes sense to you hello there ah so you infiltrated forth such remained undetected and replaced the medicine with the poison i provided you are truly a master of shadow hell yeah it pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well-earned bonus. Go now. Rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you are. So the reward you get for this quest is a bit meh. But don't worry, guys, because it, it fits our roleplay. Okay? All right, the fine... The Deceiver's Finery. Fortified personality, three points on self. Fortified speechcraft, three points on self. Hell yes. The finest Khajiit you have ever seen in your life. Look at that. Ah! God damn. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Truly amazing. Oh, I should put on Cruelty's heart as well. And we can wear the boots of bloody banding with this. Yes. 
Because before, it would make me look like this, because you can't wear the shrouded armor with it. But now, I'm a fully equipped secret assassin with all of the finery, apart from the Amulet of Kings, which I cannot wear. I like how it still has a thousand gold value, like you can sell it. Okay, so this is the next contract, guys, and it's the best quest in the game, so enjoy. So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Oh boy, I'm ready. Tell me more. Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house, and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. <laughs> in fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. <laughs> there is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Oh, I will have fun. Ha ha ha! Let's ask for some advice on this contract. It's literally my favorite one. What a cool idea to think of something like this. Well done, Emil, who designed the quest for this game. Each guest, at some point in the past, wronged their mysterious host. Now, he's hired us to exact his revenge. I got that impression. I got that impression. Go now, dear. Good day. Good day. Remember the pretenses under which the guests are there. They will be suspicious. You must be as effective an actor as you are a killer. It would be a good idea to talk to each guest and appeal to their good disposition. Remember, if they really like you, they may open up to you. Mm. You should dress appropriately. The Deceiver's Finery, your recent quest reward, would serve this purpose nicely. If you earned it, that is. <laughs> Yeah, because I could have messed up and not got that reward. All right, let's go and May talk to... I want to talk to the Orc about this quest, because I think he'll have, like, a funny response. Anybody home? Where's my boy? My boy, the vampire. He's not here. Go down. All right, let's go and find... They're usually in the training room. Usually. Do, 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 do. Hello there. Yes, dearest brother. Is there something I can help you with? She definitely fancies us. Remember, you must make the other guests feel comfortable. Make them like you. Make them trust you. Then bathe in their blood. <laughs> she reminds me of that, that girl in class who was always like the really good girl and like never used to do anything wrong with that. And she's like secretly a murderer and she's like really creepy. Oh God. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I mean, well, you know. Uh, I don't think I do know. Oh, hello there. Get away from me. You again. I thought I made it clear I'm not looking for a friend. If you're here to buy or sell something, get on with it already. Aw, poor guy. Away from me. How good day. You're looking very bright today. The key to successfully completing this contract is effectively blending in with the other guests. So for Sithis' sake, do not wear your hood. I'm gonna dress like an assassin as we get to some blood banter. Me, dear brother. Banter banter. Where's the orc? I need to talk to him about about my objective. He's probably asleep, isn't he? 
Here he is. I know what you're thinking. Gorgoron. Contracts. If you really plan on killing the guests one by one, make sure that when you strike, you strike hard. Don't want anyone running for help, do you? That's very true. Well, yeah, that was uh, hunting, not brother. very useful contract information, but hey. Warmest welcomes to you. I am Talendril, Wood Elf, and loyal daughter of Sithis. I hope you find our sanctuary to your liking. I don't think we've ever met this person. Take your time with this one. Observe the other guests. Learn their schedules and behaviors. And strike each one when they're alone. God damn. Use your silver tongue. Try to befriend the guests, and then you may be able to lure them to their own dooms. <laughs> I like how everyone laughs really creepily. May your arrows always it's like if you if you were trying to get the part for the Dark Brotherhood, you had to just laugh at the audition. And if you could laugh creepily, then you got the part. All right, let's go to the well, and then we can head over to Skingrad, and we can do the best quest in the game. Hell yeah. Let's... Fast travel to Skingrad. Skingrad always was an interesting city because it's kind of got like a road running through the center of it. So that was always very cool. Most expensive house you can buy here as well. Here we are in the pleasant place of Skingrad. Oh, look at me. I look, I look. One second. God damn. Look at that. Look at that. My god. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. They won't even see us coming, guys. I should probably take my arrows off. Don't want to. Don't want to startle them. Maybe I'll come in naked. Maybe that would confuse them and baffle them. Baffle them, silly. Right, there we go. Now I'm a true, a true assassin. Don't mind me, just strafing sideways down the road. Where the hell am I going here? It's over here somewhere. Walks around the alleyway like an absolute spasm. Aha, here we are. God damn. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. <laughs> we have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. What a fun game. Please, go on. Oh my god, he's a massive fan of my channel. Look at that. 100 deposition. Disposition. Go, go. Socialize. Talk to those fine people. And then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. Ha 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 Okay, let's go. Let's plunge our knives into their throats. The sixth Whoa. guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Yeah, you have. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Now, who might you be? Please. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Say nothing. My baby is sick and we are so poor. I'm an assassin hired... <laughs> I'm an assassin hired to kill you. <laughs> You're a funny one. Indeed. Hilarious. Good, I'm glad one of us has a sense of humour about all this. It'll make our time here that much more enjoyable. Oh, very enjoyable indeed. Oh my god, I can ask about all the guests. This is going to be a very chatty one, guys. Personally, I think she's a little floozy. Ooh. She's been eyeing young Primo Antonius, probably smells his wealth. Send me her way. That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. Oh boy. 
Nels and the Naughty. Oh, that man disgusts me. I find his entire manner offensive. <laughs> Triggered. Why, just before you got here, he told me the most off-colour joke about an Argonian maid. Ha ha ha! We, me and him are gonna get on very well. How about Neville? Well, if I can be perfectly honest with you, I find Neville quite attractive. Red guards are so exotic, don't you think? Okay. It's obvious that young Primo comes from wealth. A chest full of gold would be mere spending change for him. All right, well, thanks for letting me know. Everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, Nora, yes. Maybe we'll speak again gold. later. What will you spend it on? Hello there. Wait, let me guess. A sleazy horn and a nice new battle axe. I don't want to break anything, but the chest of gold could be hidden. I'm going to open a tavern. Not that I'd welcome your patronage. No pigs allowed inside, you see. How dare you? You legion types tend to stink up a place. How, how dare? How dare? A tavern? <laughs> oh, I should have known. Leave it to a barbarian to spend an entire chest full of gold on beer and mead. How Hell yeah. Pathetic. You're a legend. You can call me a barbarian. It's true. And I'm proud of the fact. But you call me pathetic again, and I'm going to show you just how barbaric I am. With every word you speak, you're just proving me right, Nord. Your kind has contributed nothing to our empire, and never will. <laughs> my kind, as you like to call us, are plenty happy serving our own needs, while your useless empire crumbles down around you. Very true. Your words border on treason, Nord, and I will not tolerate them. You will respect the Empire. You will respect the memory of our dear Emperor. Bah! Don't get your linens in a bunch. You have no authority in this house or anywhere else. You're not even in the Legion anymore. Exactly, Neville. I still serve the Empire in my heart and will not abide such talk. Walk away from me now, barbarian, or you'll regret your arrogance. I was done with you anyway. I can only talk to an ex-Legion pig for so long. The f well, hello there. Nels is my name. Some call me Naughty, but don't you believe it. <laughs> oh, Naughty boy. Ah, oh, well, tell me about um, Primo. Uh, seems like a nice enough kid. A little too rich for his own good, maybe. But I've met worse. Fair enough. And how about your friend Neville? Once an Imperial Legion Bulldog, always an Imperial Legion Bulldog. I've seen his kind before. He cares about laws and regulations, not people. He seems like he can tell us other things about them, but um, he's not friendly enough Go ahead. yet. Maybe I should bribe him. Thank, thank you. How kind. Now tell me about him. I will confide something in you, my friend. I despise Neville and Obviously. all his Imperial Legion ilk. They are useless, uncaring tools of corruption. Three years ago, my village in Skyrim was attacked by bandits. We went to the nearby Imperial Legion outpost, but they refused to help us. My dear sweet daughter Olga was killed that day. She was murdered. And the Legion would do nothing to help her. Neville and his kind are scum. Okay. So this guy's village got burnt by bandits and now he hates all Imperials. Alright. Primo is young and rich. I can sense a good, decent person in there somewhere. He just has to get his priorities straight. Alright. How about Nails the Naughty? Tell me about yourself. Ah, don't let the name fool you. I had a bit too much mead a few years back, and there was this tavern wench. Anyway, just call me Nels. Okay, Nels. Who's this person? <laughs> you should have seen the old biddy trying to talk to young Primo Antonius. She may be a noble, but he looked down on her like a scullery maid. Lol. Savage. How about Dran? Let me confide something in you, my friend. Dovisi is the spitting image of my own daughter. Her skin is darker, of course, but that sweet face. 
My daughter was killed, you see. A few years back by bandits. I'm sorry. Please forgive a father's heavy heart. I can't believe we have to kill this guy for bad now. All right then, I guess I better start looking. I best you that should. Gold's not going to find itself. Exactly. I can't quite decide where I should look. I don't want to break anything, but the chest of gold could be hidden anywhere. Ah, yes, the sixth guest. I'm Neville. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Why does he look so... Oh, why is he so angry? <laughs> He's so angry. What the hell? He's young, rich, and handsome. Basically the complete opposite of you. I do, Jack. That's good to hear. I think there's quite a few people who watch me from Nottingham. I've, I've seen a few people on the streets. I'm a red guard. Though I've never actually been to Hammerfell. I was born here in Cyrodiil. My family has been in the Legion for three generations. Legion and proud. Let's Make bribe him. We understand each other. Well, isn't that sweet of you? Very sweet. Primo's a blue blood. A noble through and through. He thinks he's better than most people. And in most cases, he's right. Oh, wait, I can yes. tell. We can get something else. I, thank they have you, quite I'll a few conversation dialogues, depending how much they like you. I'll confess that I have no idea why Primo is here. The kid's got more wealth than the rest of us combined. He sure doesn't need a chest of gold. Maybe he's incredibly greedy, but I don't think so. My guess is that Primo is so bored, he simply has nothing better to do. Hmm, how about now's the naughty? No, but I think... I think that barbarian will do anything to get his hands on the chest of gold. His kind are greedy and vicious. All of them. So racist. Trust me, I know. I was stationed at Fort Frostmoth for a few years on the Isle of Solstein. Those Nords are a bunch of animal-worshipping savages. <laughs> They're all the same, full of meat and something to prove. He's not wrong. <laughs> we lost a lot of good men up there. A lot of good men. How about Malti Maltide? If I may be Maltilde. honest, I feel a bit sorry for the old woman. She comes from a noble family, I'm sure, but seems a lot less well-off than she should be. Dovizi is a dark elf. They call themselves Dunmer. When I was young, I spent some time stationed on Fort Moonmoth, on their homeland of Morrowind. I have great respect for the Dunmer people. They are strong and noble and generally understand the importance of law and discipline. Hmm. Unfortunately, Davizi doesn't seem to like me very much, but I don't blame her. The young ones tend to have problems with authority figures. <laughs> Interesting right, character. Maybe we can use him to turn against other itself. people. Let's head upstairs and see if anyone's alone. Hmm. Hello there. Any chests? Oh, a broom? No chest of gold here. God damn. I think we have to take one of the guests up here and then they will uh, explore and we can assassinate them. Oh, what? Someone's sleeping. I wonder if this is going to work. Can I just. Shall I just finish them off quickly or, or what? Take it. It's worthless to me. Okay, I will. <laughs> Apparently, she's she is quite well off then. This is all so strange, isn't it? I don't know why I was invited to come here, but the gold could really help my family. I do hope I find it. Let's befriend her we'll so see. she can tell us all her secrets. For me, thanks. Not much to tell about me, really. I'm from Morrowind originally, but my family moved to Valenwood a few years ago. Rip you. Honestly, I don't think she likes me. It's because I'm a Dunmer. I heard her say something to Neville, and it wasn't very nice. It wasn't very nice. Mm, I don't, already don't like you. Tell me about Nels the Naughty. Every now and then he looks over at me and smiles. I think he's sweet on me. If Nels finds the gold, maybe he'll want some company. Wow, you gold digger. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, if he finds the gold, maybe I'll befriend him. 
I know he's a retired soldier. But not just a soldier. He was an officer in the Imperial Legion. I hate the Legion and everything it stands for. When those soldiers came to Morrowind, they persecuted my people and stole our lands. Neville may not be in the Legion anymore, but who knows what atrocities he committed. Ironically, he actually spent all his time defending the, uh, the her people. It's pretty obvious that Primo comes from a wealthy family. He would never be interested in a girl like me, I'm afraid. Not true, he told me he likes you. You're right, he's too good for you. <laughs> Say nothing. Should we try and stir some crap up? You're on my TV. Ever imagine being on TV? Love your videos. Thanks so much, Matt, for the donation and putting me on TV, mate. Anyone else watch on TV? That's pretty cool. I must be huge for you guys. He? He did? Oh my goodness, what should I do? Should I talk to him? Or maybe play hard to get? Or should I... You know, or would that be too forward? Go to his room, wait for him there. Ah, we can separate her. Oh, you think so? I mean, it is rather forward, but I like it. Kinky. All right, then. I'll wait for him in his room upstairs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, then. Hmm. Oh, yes, maybe we'll speak again later. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Come on. Oh, wait, is this his room? God damn. I failed. So, you finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not accustomed to waiting. How? This guy, I already hate this guy. What the hell? I'm gonna I'm bribe him. He likes bribes. That, see, was every little... That will get you something. Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. Maybe you could do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. Oh, well, he actually does like her. Interesting. Apparently, the poor old woman thinks she's from a well-to-do family. Truth is, I have servants with more nobility in their blood than her. <laughs> Nels is a drunk. He doesn't even try to hide that fact. But what else is he? When the liquor is dried, what remains of the man? I think Nels drinks to forget. Maybe about some tragedy in his life. He plays the buffoon, but I sense a deep sadness in him. Oh, he's got that bang on right, though. That's interesting. I know he's a retired Imperial Legion officer. Apparently, he's been in campaigns all across the Empire, from Skyrim to Morrowind. I also get the sense that he's very eager to find the gold. I can't imagine his life of servitude to the Empire left him with much to retire on. Indeed. It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. Bloody hell, you're a rich boy, mate. He that does look about 12, you're right. Just might be. That gold is as good as mine. Okay, shut that door. Can you come in here? Oh, where are you going? Maybe this is going to I work out. I can't decide where I should look. I don't want to break anything, but the chest of gold could be hidden anywhere. Hey, oh, 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 one second. Don't mind me, I've just got a dagger out. <laughs> 300 gold, god damn. Hopefully no one will open that door anytime soon. Let's try and hide his body. Best we can. Just, no one finds it right now. Yeah, that'll do. No, no one will notice that. No one will notice that. Oh, she's going to be standing there waiting for him forever. What a shame. <laughs> what a giant shame. Nord is drinking. Have you heard? Someone's been murdered. One of us. How the fuck did you know that? The hell? Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go downstairs into the basement. Do some dirty work. Are you playing Kingdom Come again? Yes, I'm planning to do the DLC. 
we'll be doing that. I want. I think it's a fun game. You can just mess about and do whatever you like, which I love. Video games that give you that freedom, as it were. Some beer, but where's where's the bloody wine, mate? I need some wine. That's not wine. It's not wine. Okay, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. I need to send someone down to the cellar. Where's the dark elf? We haven't spoken to her yet. Can't see her anywhere. Oh no, we did speak to her. What am I talking about? Murdered. One of us. What kind of party is this? Someone's been murdered. That's his Nikot. I like how he's wobbling. A guest has been murdered. So it begins. You mark my words, this entire party is a trap. Someone wants us all dead and now they have their chance. Who do you think it is? Primo was a young man, strong and full of life. Surely he would have been able to defend himself against an attacker. Surely. <laughs> How about Nels? You don't like him. Nords are raised to be cold-blooded killers. Don't take your eyes off Nels if you value your life. I'll bet anything he's our murderer. Lol, he's just sitting here with a beer behind him. <laughs> She's afraid, and for good reason. If the killer strikes again, they may very well pick an easy target, like Matilde. She needn't worry, though. I'm a trained soldier. With 20 years of experience dealing with situations like this. On my honor, this killer will be caught and dealt with. Lol, I can't wait to kill her and then come and talk to him again and be like, so, about that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation, guys. Not sure I want to watch this stream. Haven't played this quest line yet, so it's full of spoilers. Oh, bro. I guess, yeah. There's lots of different ways you can, you can play, especially like this quest. But, um... I totally understand if you don't want to watch it yet, because, you know, you want to play it yourself and enjoy it. I recommend not watching it, to be honest. Right now, my main concern is figuring out who the killer is. She may be young, but Devizi is a suspect just like everyone else. I've seen enough in my time to know that anyone is capable of murder if they have the right motivation. Interesting. Very interesting. Have you heard, my friend? One of our fellow guests has been murdered. This bodes ill for our stay and our search for the gold. Indeed. Do you think it's Neville? <laughs> I really have to wonder where Neville was when someone was getting slaughtered just a few rooms away. Indeed. Maybe he was busy looking for the chest of gold. Or maybe he was right next to the victim with his hand on the hilt of a dagger. Think about it. I shall. Primo being here made no sense. Whoever our host is, why would he invite someone who didn't even need the money? It's as if we were invited for another reason altogether. Think about it. We're trapped in this house with no way out, and now people start dying. <laughs> I think poor Primo was tricked, just like the rest of us. If we're not careful, we'll end up dead too. You mark my words. He does look depressed, but to be honest, his whole fam well, his family got killed by some bandits. So, I mean, if I was him, Nails the Naughty, I would also be depressed. Thanks for the donation, Kevin. Appreciate that, mate. He seems way too unhappy about someone getting murdered. Oh, he seems way too happy about someone getting murdered. Lol. I mean, he is drinking, so maybe he's just like, yeah, I guess. Just like Skyrim. <laughs> just for him. It seems she's upset about the murder, but there's something else. It's almost like she's glad there's less competition for the gold. Greedy old bat. LOL! <laughs> Savage confirmed. Races aren't as important as in Skyrim. Actually, being female in this game is a disadvantage because you're not as strong. Which is really interesting. <laughs> they took that out in Skyrim, though. Let me tell you something. If anyone thinks they're going to hurt that poor dark elf girl, they're going to have to get through me first. All right, we know who we're killing next. <laughs> Lol. Be smart to stay with the rest of the group. It's just not safe to go wandering off alone with a killer on the loose. Indeed. Um, let's go upstairs and talk to the other guys, and then we'll try and like sanction one of them off. And start separating. Are you all right? This why? Why would someone do this? The taking of a life is against every principle I hold dear. It's something I just can't understand. 
It will all be over soon enough. Sweetie, you should go and get some rest. Yeah, it will be over. Oh, I certainly hope so. I still want to find the gold, of course, but is it even worth it? I just want to go home. Now's the naughty. Do you think he could have done it? He comes across as something of a drunk. But you never can tell what someone is capable of. Indeed. Primo was my chance. Do you understand me? He was wealthy. <laughs> he could take me away someplace. Lol. Whoever did this will pay. Lol, she wanted that gold digger wanted him. I heard the others talk. <laughs> Neville was a soldier for 20 years. He's used to killing, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I do. I don't trust that old hag. <laughs> she pretends she likes you and then stabs you in the back. Who knows? Maybe she'll really stab you in the back. But damn. Let's go and talk to the old hag. No one seems to like to stay her. With the rest of the group. Could you, could you uh, please leave so I can have a conversation in private? Hello, old hag. Please, sweetie, stay close to me. The killer might strike again, whoever he or she is. Neville has a strong sense of justice, I can tell. If we find out who the killer is, he'll take care of things, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. I just can't believe he's dead. You think Nels might be the killer? Oh, he plays the buffoon, but it could all be an act. He is an ord. And they're such a savage, uncivilized people. God damn, the Nords just get the worst of it all, don't we? That little tramp is as guilty as sin, you hear me? She's the killer, and if we don't keep our eyes on her, she'll do it again. That little tramp, okay. You'd be smart to stay. What happens if I, I want to kill it's just not the tramp for now off alone and then the talk to her knows. again? Let's see what she says. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. No! No! Oh, god damn! You, you fool. That's going to kill you. Maybe I can do this secretly. Ah! I've been trying to figure out who our host might be. With two people dead, it almost seems like he set this party up just to kill us all. <laughs> I literally have a dagger drawn. There's a dead body next to me. There's like blood on the dagger. And I just go and talk to her, and she's like, I, do, I just don't know. I don't know who killed him. <laughs> Let's ask about her again. One less dark elf in the world. And now there's one less person to find the gold as well. What? It's a good day, don't you think? Oh my god, this lady is horrible. Oh my god, did you just say that? <laughs> Two people dead, yet Nell still lives. I don't think that's a coincidence. Nords are savages born to kill. I just know he did it. I kind of... So, I know there's there's one out... I want to see if we can do something a bit different here to what Stay safe, most people would do. that's even possible. Give me that. 250 gold. God damn. She wasn't a... She wasn't exactly a, like a, a poor dark elf, was she? 250 gold. Jesus Christ. It's not safe to be alone. I certainly don't want to be the third victim. I want to see what happens if we kill him and then we try to get the Nord to kill the old lady with us or something. Or the other way around. Just I think it would be quite funny to see how he reacts, as it were. Let's let's ask him about her death. I haven't seen death like this in a long, long time. I plan to gather up every drop of drink in this house and keep it to myself. If things get any worse around here, I find comfort there, you see. I'll be honest, friend. I don't know what to think about Matilda. Yeah, she seems frightened, but she's also still alive. Why wasn't she killed? Exactly. Why not? She may look old and weak, but that's never stopped a murderer before, has it? Don't doubt for a second that she couldn't be the killer. I want to see if we can talk him into killing the old lady. <laughs> no, no. When I looked into Davisi's face, it was like peering at my own daughter. I... I feel like I've lost her all over again. That's so sad. My God. With two of us now dead, 
It seems like the others are looking for Neville for protection. The fools. He'll kill them like he did the others. Indeed. That's right. I think Neville is the murderer. I can't prove it yet, but he'll slip up. Just you wait. Whatever you do, don't turn your back on him. I won't. Don't worry. So he thinks Neville's the murderer. Don't go far. It's too dangerous to go wandering around this house. Where is Neville? It would be interesting if we uh, we killed him and just left Neville and the old lady alive and see if we can get Neville just to go against his nature and kill the old lady. It's not safe to be alone. Where is I he anyway? Don't want to be the Here he, he's just sitting in bed. He doesn't care. He's like, oh, I'm done. We're being stalked like animals in the forest. I'm still not sure if the killer is one of the other guests or is hiding somewhere in the house. One thing I do know is that the killer won't just stop with two. They never do. You and I, we need to watch each other's backs. I've got my old legion armor and sword in a chest upstairs. It's time I geared up and showed this coward just who he's dealing with. Oh boy. That's going to be an issue for sneak attacking him. I was in the legion for a great many years, my friend. I saw a lot of horrible things, including the murders of children. It made no sense then, it makes no sense now. But don't you worry. I vowed to bring Davizi's killer to justice. Oh man, you're so noble. You're so noble. There's a killer in here, and Matilde needs protection. Who better to defend her but me? I'm keeping my eye on the old woman, don't you worry. How about Nels? He thinks he's the killer. That mead-swilling barbarian killed those two people. I'm sure of it. I'm Don't yeah. you worry, my friend. Nels won't get away with this. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go and kill Stay Nels safe. and then see what happens. Like, I want to see if he accuses you of being the murderer or not. Because what I what I would usually do is I would I would kill uh, the old lady and then I'd get the red guard to come and help me kill Nels or the other way around. And then he'd think he was safe and you can finish him off. But now... Gah! Oh, man, he died with a beer in his hand like a true Nord. I'm going to take that beer with me, my friend. Right, let's, let's go and talk to the Red Guard now and see what he says. Oh. He's putting his armor so on. Many people dead. I just don't know who to trust anymore. There you are. Listen, I've searched every inch of this house. It's sealed up tight. There's no way in or out. And there's nobody hiding any place. That means the killer has been inside with us all along. You and I aren't murderers. So that leaves one person. We must prepare to defend ourselves. <laughs> defend yourself against the old lady. Let's just see what she it's says. <gasps> oh, thank goodness it's you, sweetie. Please don't wander too far away. I feel safe with you. Nels. So, Nels is dead. I don't condone murder, of course, but I can't say he'll be missed. As a rule, I find Nords rather... vulgar. She's literally the most racist person in Oblivion. Are you serious? She hates everyone. I know you're no killer. That means it's Neville. Oh, I'm so frightened. Please, protect me from him. Where are you going? What are you doing? We need to keep our eyes on each other. There you are. Then, uh, let's ask about Nels. One less Nord in the world is something I'd normally cheer about, but the fact that he was murdered by a fellow guest does put a damper on things. How about this old lady? <laughs> Three people have been killed, and the only ones left are you, me, and a little old lady. One of us is a murderer, and my money's. On the old lady. <laughs> Don't let her looks deceive you, friend. I've seen black widows like her before. Her crimes <laughs> must not go unpunished. Justice is at hand. Oh God! Oh God! Oh my God! He's looting her. He's taking her gold. Not on my watch. And then he was the one to kill her. We did it. We actually made him kill her. I can't believe it. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh boy, where's he off to now? Where is he gone? He probably thinks we're safe now. 
You and I are the only ones left. But we did it. We survived. We, we won. We won. Well, that's that. The killer is dead. And this nightmare is just about over. All we have to do now is find a way out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I save the game. I don't know if I can one-hit kill him with uh, that armor on. Don't mind me. Is he going to loot it? He's just staring at the body. Why don't you join your friend? Ha 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 ha! All of the guests are dead. And no one knew I was the killer. <clears throat> I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Ochiva to receive my reward and bonus. Oh, Neville. A full legion armor and his chest key, which you could have pickpocketed, put on the armor and just assassinated everyone. God damn, mate, that was easy. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Right, let's uh, fast travel over back to the, the sanctuary. That is literally the best quest in the game. I thoroughly enjoy it, and you can... You can literally kill people in different orders and everyone has different things to say and it's like honestly so interesting. It's so well done. I could do that quest like again and again and just it's so different each time. It must have taken so much effort for them to make that man. Now we have another mission. Another one. Let's me inside. And we also get a hidden reward for for killing everyone without uh, getting discovered. Can't believe we made her kill the old lady. I mean, him kill the old lady. I'm so proud. I am so proud. Hello there. Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, Assassin. Assassino! I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets. <gasps> it's a Khajiit. A real life Khajiit. Hello? Hello? He's like, why, why are you picking me up? Would you like to play Khajiit? Yeah? That's as good. He's not interested. Such a great stream. Thank you so much, Rick, for the donation. Good to see you again, mate. Right. Greetings the next contract. More, assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. The Black Hand. Oh my goodness. Do you recall the name Adamus Philida? Yes. The Imperial Legion best? It's time he joined Sithis in the Void. Think you're up to the task? Yes, I am always up for the task. It would be an honor. I accept. Adamus Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. Terrible. We tried to eliminate Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. He's a powerful man and was surrounded by powerful associates. Mm. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Darker. Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch Barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. Mm. He is, in fact, more vulnerable than ever. Say nothing. I will slay him like the pig he is. What must I do? Say nothing. Listen well, my child. The Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. It is an enchanted arrow that will kill Philida instantly. <gasps> Amazing. As long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die. But it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the rose will be wasted. Travel to Leowin. Track Philida. Learn his schedule. Observe when he removes that blasted Legion armor. And then, 
let fly the Rose of Scythus. Kill Philida in any way, Rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, sever his finger, the one that bears an Imperial Legion signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks Savage. in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. What a savage. Adamus Philida will find no rest in retirement. No, his soul will endure a kind of eternal suffering known only to those who have angered Sithis. Oh my boy. Goddamn. Eternal Go suffering. Go now, dear family member. I know what you're thinking. Oh, um, don't get me wrong. That magic arrow sounds nice and all, but it seems to me like you don't even need to use it to get the bonus. As long as you cut off his finger and leave it in that desk, you'll get your bonus. Sounds to me like you can kill the old sod any way you'd like. I feel like you don't really get So what if he's wearing armor? You think that Imperial Legion scrap can stop a well-forged claymore? Not bloody likely. <laughs> Alright. We get to assassinate the final target of Oshiva's questline. My cat keeps on sniffing my microphone. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Okay, so let's just head out. I, I can't be bothered to speak to everyone about the contract. We need to find him when he's not wearing any armor. So ideally naked and defenseless. That's how I like them. My favorite kind of... Uh, let's. We only need one arrow. The Rose of Scythus. Look. They made the arrow and the the quiver for it. Just for this quest. This is the only arrow you can get in the game of this, uh, legitimately. And it just looks amazingly cool, doesn't it? I can't believe they only made one arrow of it. But, like, just the detail and the texture and everything they did for it is so cool. It's got, like, an ebony sheath and then, like, really cool detailing. I love it. And then we're going to use the Shadow Hunt bow. Or actually, should I? I can just use an iron bow. Why not? One shot, one kill, indeed. But he can't be wearing armor. Right. So, the Imperial... No, he's in Leowin, isn't he? That's south. Leowin. Here. Oh, he's outside of Leowin right now. What the hell? Okay, that's weird. He's going for a walk. We're going to have to stalk him until he strips naked. And then we can assassinate him with with the arrow. Thank you so much for the nice comment there. Ideally naked. Ideally. Naked on the toilet is how... Wait, what? Speak. Why is he not wearing any... Do we know each other? There's something familiar about you, but I just can't place it. Time to die, Imperial Pig. Sithis needs your soul say nothing. Yes, well, I'm a very busy man, enjoying my retirement, don't you know? So why don't you just go away? How dare you insult me? Well, he's naked, apart from the fact there are guards around. Maybe I can assassinate him from the docks here secretly. Is he still naked? Let's save the game quickly. I believe he takes a swim every day, I recall, at this uh, location. Okay, here we go. Oh no, I've missed! I've missed my only arrow! <laughs> Reload! <laughs> okay, okay, we've got to do like the ultimate long shot here, guys. I think that will probably hit him, just there. Oh, get wrecked! Get wrecked! I don't know why he's just standing there naked. Why is he naked? Exactly, why? <laughs> uh, at this time every day, I believe he goes and takes a swim. He's dead, though. I may return now. I feel like that was too easy. One sec, one sec, wait, wait. I'm, I'm intrigued as to, you know, like... 
If I just go ahead and like wait a few hours, it's 8.27 p.m. right now. Is he now swimming? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, he's disappeared now. He's, he's going to the barracks. He's still naked though. Maybe he just enjoys a daily swim. So he's inside the barracks. Oh, the barracks. Average. Damn it. Ah, oh, screw you guys. It's all over. Uh, pay gold or five Thanks. bounty. Oh. You can take my gold and then you can place me back here again. All right, so he likes to go for a midnight swim. That's what we've learned so far. Let's just wait until the morning and see what he does. He's naked. Why is he naked when he joined the stream? That's what I like to hear. That's... You're in the right place. Wait, one second. Why are you here? Not here. Not in public. We must never speak to each other outside the sanctuary. The risk of detection is too great. Why are you here? She's a spy. No spoilers. Okay, let's... Um, He's, he's not at the swimming pool right now. He's he's browsing the town. Can't see it, no? Where are you, my friend? Here he is. God damn, look at that armor, though. Do we know each other? Yes, well, I'm a... Go away. So he just walks around in his armor all day. And the only way you can kill him is when he takes a swim. Is he going for a swim here? Maybe. No, he's not. All right, let's wait until around 4 p.m. Maybe he goes for a swim there. You can pick the rose off his corpse. Oh, there. Then, then you can put it in your house and keep it forever. Ah, look. Now he's swimming. And the guard is actually following him in there. I'm gonna go and swim over to him and be like, hi there. Duty calls. Duty calls. The old man. <laughs> He's easy to protect. Every day's the same. He visits the Coast Guard station, goes for a swim, never puts himself in harm's way. Ah, there's a little hint there about when you can kill him, I guess. You too. Hello. Do we know each other? Sithis needs your soul. Oh. Sithis needs my soul, does he? <laughs> well, you can tell your dread father that he can kiss my wrinkled arse. Defend yourself, dark brotherhood dog. Oh, wow. <laughs> he just immediately put his armor on. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's reload uh, the save from when we previously killed. <laughs> He's just like in the river. Suddenly puts his armor on. Right. Just there. Get wrecked. We've killed him now. Can I just walk over there with my bow? Like, hi, bro. How's it going, mate? Don't mind me. Don't mind me, Imperial Guardsman. I'm just here to take the Imperial Watch Shield and the Leowin Castle key Keys and his finger. Don't mind me. I've acquired the Severed Finger. With the ring still attached, I should now go to the Imperial City and place the finger on the desk of the Imperial Legion successor in the office of the prison barracks. If I do this, I will receive a bonus, or I may forfeit the bonus and simply return to the sanctuary. Meanwhile, this guard is like, hey, bro, wait, can you, can, you, can you stop? This ends here. Wait, oh, Jesus Christ, where did you come from? They just want to kill me. Can I not... More Can I not speak to you? It's all over, Lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. Pay gold. 40 gold. Only 40 gold for assassinating this guy. That's too bad. I would... Okay. I'll pay that. I'll take that any day, mate. Do I still have the, uh, the severed finger? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Let's travel to the Imperial City, then. Travel to the Imperial City Prison? Indeed. Maybe we can check if that guy, um, the Dark Brotherhood 
assassin is still in the prison or not. Uh, I, I'll deliver the finger now, though. Very hard. God damn. I need to buy some lockpicks in that case. Speak. Speak. Do you have the prison key? Imperial watch key. Is that the same as the prison key? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Let's save the game here. See if it is. Okay, there we go. You have my ear, sir. And I have your key, sir. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm not sneaking. Hopefully no one spots me now. Oh, oh. Stop right there, criminal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. God damn, it's reload. He was just sitting there as soon as I came in. He was like, better arrest. Ah, it's all over God damn it. Breaker. Are you kidding me? What am I meant to do? Resist arrest. Then pay with your blood. Oh, is it? Who locks their desk? God damn. Who would lock their desk? Is there even a key here? Auto attempt. We have four attempts. Yes! It worked! Don't mind me. I'm just going to put this finger in, uh, in your desk. It's here, isn't it? The severed finger. Where is it? Severed finger. Finger of, yes, there we go. I have placed the finger in the desk of his successor in the office of the Imperial City. I should now return and claim my reward and bonus. This is the part. Ah, this is the part where you bleed to death. Ah! You have my ear, citizen. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did he not arrest me? It's all over, Lord. Oh wait, Breaker. that's really weird. Your spree is at resist arrest. Then pay with pay with your blood. Stop right there. Okay, I'll pay. I'll pay the gold. Have that that's ten gold okay. for unlocking a door and sneaking a ring into the into the prison. Stop right there, criminal scum. Thank you so much for the, the donation, King Tots. Good to see you back here as well. Right, let's go back to the Brotherhood Sanctuary and finish off this final quest. That was so funny, lad. <laughs> Honestly, I think you'd have to, like, go in there at daytime or something and just be lucky that the Imperial Guard's not sitting right next to the door. Otherwise, it's, like, impossible, really. I keep on using this entrance because I'm so used to it, but we could still use the well as an entrance as well. Aha! Where is he? Or she? The lusty Argonian. Where are you? Here she is. Adama's Philida is dead. Hell yeah. I could feel my heart swell with the Night Mother's love the moment that Imperial Pig issued his last breath. Kinky. You have done a great service to the Dark Brotherhood today, Assassin. Your reward is well earned. Oh, boy. You also managed to leave Philida's severed finger as a warning to his successor. Well done. Your bonus. 500 additional gold coins is well earned. Easy, mate. Go now. Get some rest. Sithis knows you've earned it. When you're ready for another contract, you need only ask. Another contract? Let's save the game here. I think we get summoned to the Black Hand now. Ah, Assassin. I must speak with you. It is quite urgent. A sealed letter just arrived from a Dark Brotherhood courier. So the next episode, guys, we can go and continue the Dark Brotherhood quest for the Dark Hand, which is going to be a pretty awesome thing because things, things get very interesting in terms of um, the storyline of this. It's no longer just doing assassinations. It's much more than that. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next episode, probably tomorrow or the day after, and it will be an evening stream about 
around 6 p.m. GMT time. And um, I will see you then, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want, to check out my other videos on Outward. I'm going to have another one out tonight, a new build guide I've been working on. Um, but yeah, I recommend checking it out. If you guys like that game, then definitely pick it up and watch those videos to see, you know, what you think of it before you buy it. So it's very different. And I think if you can get over the graphics in the game, it's really good. Um, and I will link the playlist for the Dark Brotherhood stream down below in the description for you guys. Look at that fancy Khajiit. The fanciest Khajiit you've ever seen in your life. In fact, I can get my other cat and show you who it's based on. Oh, Skooma. This is my cat, Skooma. She's just woken up, haven't you, Skooma? Yeah? Just woken up? <laughs> Are you, you, you quite chill? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support on Patreon, all the donations you guys have given me. And just, you know, showing up and watching the live stream is also awesome. So thank you so much. Skooma says thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, Skooma. All right. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Have a good night and enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.